Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Buckalo and this is the Review Chair Uncut. Uh, for those of you who have come over from my reaction channel after watching my reaction uh, of The Walking Dead uh, season premiere for Fear the Walking Dead, I appreciate it and uh, let's just get into this. So from the beginning, um, I was very hyped, right? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things going on right now in the Walking Dead universe as far as uh, uh, just finishing up season 10 of the original Walking Dead. And, uh, you know, if, if you go and uh, watch my uh, reaction and review on that, you'll see that I, you know, I wasn't that uh, impressed with that final episode. And uh, just to be honest, and this is just my opinion, I don't want anybody to uh, get freaked out, but uh, it's uh, my opinion that uh, I think... The Walking Dead, the original series, has kind of come to an end. I mean, I, they've said that themselves. There's only like a season left uh, that they're going to plan. Um, and then they might do some uh, spin-offs. But uh, I think we're all feeling it. Um, there's a lot more uh, story that can be told for the, the fear uh, uh, storyline that's going on. But uh, I don't really know where they can go from here on the original Walking Dead. Um, basically what I'm trying to say is, uh, I enjoyed that premiere a lot more than, uh, the finale for season 10 of The Walking Dead, and I'll explain why. Uh, there was a lot more, um, really cool dramatic scenes, um, uh, start from the beginning. They had you, uh, really, uh... I, that character, the bounty hunter character, well, you didn't know he was a bounty hunter. They they made it seem like he was going to be this nice guy, this nice cowboy guy. And uh, and then all of a sudden, he um, uh, turns out he's a bounty hunter, and he cuts that dude's head off, and he's hit that dog. It's just like, uh, that was crazy. That dog licking the, the decapitated head it was crazy. But... Um, uh, so that was off to a good start, and I thought they were going to keep that guy around, uh, but then obviously uh, they didn't. But um, from the beginning, I, I didn't really know exactly what was going on, uh, which I like that. Uh, I like that there's just all these, there was all these questions, and I wanted the answers. I mean, that's what good storytelling's all about, right? And uh, I, I, I was convinced that Morgan was like turning into a zombie. I mean, if you, if, if you guys go check out my uh, reaction, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, the whole beginning of the episode, I was just thinking that's what was going on. Um, turns out he was just, uh, you know, had uh, an infection from the gunshot wound. I still don't understand how he was able to survive so long. I mean, his, his eyes were like bloodshot. And uh, he, I can't remember if he said six weeks or six months he had been uh, walking around trying to, you know, uh, get that uh, uh, water tower set up for the person that saved him. Well, long enough for him to grow a beard, and I just don't uh, know how he was able to survive uh, in the zombie apocalypse with that wound in as bad as shape he was in. But he is Morgan Jones. And uh, so there's that. And, uh, and then we met the, the cool character that was helping him out and uh, brought him to the, uh, the dam where his wife was pregnant and everything. And uh, I really enjoyed that guy. I don't think they ever introduced him and gave him his name, gave his name which, I mean, they probably did, but I missed it. Uh, if you guys know, put, drop it in the comment section for me. I would appreciate that. Uh, but uh, he was a very good character. Uh, I liked how the spin where they, he was a ranger for Virginia's uh, like army. And um, I wasn't exactly sure uh, what was going to go down there. I, I, for a sec I, I knew he had been bit, but I thought he got bit uh, while he was spending off those walkers while Morgan was trying to get in uh, to the dam. But uh, apparently he had gotten bit before. And uh, he was just trying to get uh, Morgan. Man, he he really lucked out. Like thinking back on it now, he really lucked out finding Morgan there on that street that day. Hell, he almost jabbed him in the head with a knife. But um, anyways, uh, uh, it was really sad. I almost I almost got brought to tears uh, with um, the fact that uh, that guy he he died right after his kid was born. 
and they named her Morgan, and and uh, that was really uh, pulled on the heartstrings, which is another reason why I like this episode better than the Walking Dead finale. Um, there was just nothing there that made me feel that emotion, um, and I, like I said, um, if you go watch that, it, it was a lot of it was due to um, having to wait so long to see that finale and see the conclusion of that season. Uh, I still don't know why they waited. Um, I mean, of course, the pandemic, but they had the episode already. They should have dropped it uh, back before and not waited the six months because I just completely kind of lost interest in that story. Um, it's better when it, they start like kind of a new chapter with a new season and you wait, but uh, to have to wait that long to see the conclusion, I think, was a bad idea. Um, but we have a lot to look forward to with this. Um, the, I'm, I, I loved that uh, Morgan is now a like, badass again, and that, that line where he's like, uh, you're no longer dealing with Morgan Jones, you're dealing, he's dead, you're dealing with somebody else. I was saying it in my reaction, and I'm saying it now again, he is no longer Morgan. I, I call him Morgs now, because he sends people to the morgue. But <laughs> that's my nickname for him. And uh, uh, it was good to see Virginia again. Uh, she's a cool actress. I like her. Uh, she, hell, she's been in a lot of stuff since she, since she was on this show. Uh, she's been doing really well for herself. Uh, so props for her. But... Um, uh, it's just uh, kind of sad uh, we didn't get to see any of the other cast from Fear. I uh, thought they might throw a little bit in there at the end. But they, uh, they did show us what that key was for and uh, that there's like a big submarine in the middle of the desert. And I wonder what that's going to be all about. Um, I guess they're just going to use it as a, uh, a base of operations. I, I might be a good place to hold up, uh, keep out from the zombies. There's probably not too many entrances, I would guess. But, um, you know, as far as that goes, uh, that, that pretty much is all I have to say. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping in for this review. And uh, if you could uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, I would appreciate it. If you haven't seen my reaction to this episode, just pop right over to my uh, Reaction Chair Uncut channel. It should be like right below. Um, it's called the Reaction Chair Uncut. Uh, uh, everybody subscribing and uh, liking and sharing my videos really does help me out. Uh, click that notification bell so you can be a part of our community and you know uh, every time uh, I upload a new video. You can stay up to date with my reactions and reviews. Um, but uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Alright, everybody have a good day. Bye.